simplify the expression using rational exponents. So we have the cube root of all of this stuff over here, which would be the same thing, or which is the same thing by definition, as all of this stuff, 64, a to the sixth, b to the third, c to the ninth, raised to the 1 third power. These are equivalent by definition. And if we take the product of a bunch of things and raise them to an exponent, that's the same thing as raising each of these things that we're taking the product of to the exponent first and then multiplying. So this is going to be equal to 64 to the 1 third power times a to the 6th to the 1 third power times b to the 3rd to the 1 third power times c to the 9th to the 1 3rd power. And we've seen this in several examples already. Well, first let's try to simplify this. 64 to the 1 3rd. You might recognize that already, but we can factor 64 as, well, I won't do a pure prime factorization, because you'll see it's 4 to the 3rd power. Actually, you can verify that for yourself. Or I encourage you, if, you, if that's not obvious, to see that this is 4 to the 3rd power, 64. Uh, multiply it out for yourself. Or if you're like, how did you know that? Do the prime factorization. And what you're going to do is if you, well, let me just show you. If you do the prime factorization, you're going to have 2 times 32. 32 is 2 times 16. 16 is 2 times 8. 8 is 2 times 4. And 4 is 2 times 2. So you can have 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. Or you could have a, or a, a 2 multiplied by itself 3 times, and that happens twice. Or you could have 4 times 4 times 4. So if you if you didn't if it immediately didn't jump in your head that 64 is 4 to the third power, you can literally do a brute force prime factorization here and see that you have 6, you can factor this into 2 to the 6th power or the same thing as 4 to the third power. So I'll let I'll uh, I'll let you think about that a little bit, but this right here simplifies if 64 is 4 to the third power and you raise that to the 1 third power, that is the same thing. Actually, let me write it that way. That could make it more interesting. So this right here, this is 4 to the third power. So if I, I have 4 to the third power, and then that raised to the 1 third power. So if I want to rewrite that term right over here, that's going to be 4 to the 3 thirds power. I'm literally multiplying 3 times 1 third. 4 to the third, and then that to the 1 third. Then over here, I have a to the sixth, and then that to the 1 third power. That is going to be a to the 6 times 1 third power, or a to the 6 thirds power. Then I have b to the third, and then that raised to the 1 third. So that's going to be, we literally can multiply exponents here. So we have b to the 3 over 3 power. And then finally, we have c to the 9th, and then that raised, and then that raised to the 1 third power. So that is c to the 9 over 3 power. And if you simplify it, this first term here, 4 to the third, 3 thirds, that's just 4 to the first power, so that's just 4. We have a to the 6 thirds. 6 thirds is just 2, so that just becomes a squared. b to the 3 thirds power, that's just b to the first, or b. And then finally, c to the 9 thirds, that's just c to the third power. So we write c to the third here. And we are done.